Hey everyone, welcome to Audio Gear World. Okay, today we're talking about Clef Grand, or Clef Grand, never know exactly how to pronounce it. But anyway, uh, they've released a new plugin, and when I say new plugin, it's been out for some weeks now, but it's relatively new. It's called Phosphat, or Phosphat, something like that. So what is it? Well, they themselves call it a transient fertilizer. Hmm interesting so what it is you know you can use it to enhance your uh, drum sounds and your percussive sounds so you can add some tonal texture and also some some noise texture and it can make for some very interesting effects okay now let me first say that this plugin is available on windows and mac in au vst and aax formats uh, it's also available on ipad either as a standalone application or as an au v3 application okay now let's take a look at the interface so this is what it looks like as you can see this is a demo version by the way i would always recommend to download the demo version first check it out see if it works for you before purchasing anyway let's play some music so you're not going to hear anything but you will see some stuff moving um, i put this plugin on the kick drum up here on the left you will see a visual presentation of the kick drum hitting in terms of velocity so in blue this is the original signal this arrow right here this is a kind of gate let's call it that uh, and now the gate is all the way open if i bring it down you will see represented in white the, the level of the effect so let's do that and there we go okay now down here this is also a visual presentation of the kick from hitting but this is spread out over the uh, uh, frequency spectrum from 20 to 20 thousand hertz in white this area right here this is the frequency range um, that triggers uh, the effect so only what happens within that frequency frequency range will trigger the effects so with these knobs we can move it to the right or to the left and with this knob we can make it narrower or we can make it wider so that's how that works now up here this is a oscillator a sine oscillator with this we can add some tonality to the sound and down here we have a noise generator and obviously with this we can add some noise uh, here we have some presets so we can choose some presets from right here and finally down here this is the output level so that is basically the entire interface. Okay, now let's do a little demo just to give you a hint of an idea of what this thing can do. So let's uh, play some music again. Um, okay, let me solo the drums. And okay, let's take a look at the oscillator. So let's bring up the game. And immediately you can hear what it's doing. So let's go over all the controls here. We have an attack slider, release, very self-explanatory. This is the frequency. Okay, and then here we have the pitch drop. Okay, and this finally is a um, the filter. Okay, now let's take a look at the noise generator. Let's bring up the gain of this. Alright, now here we have attack release again. This is a stereo width slider. Okay, and then this is the noise filter. Okay. Sounds pretty nice, so let's do some A-B-ing. So this is the original signal.
Okay, and this is with phosphate. Okay, so this is not at all an extensive demo, but I hope that with this example you can get a glimpse of an idea of what this thing uh, what this thing can do and i think it's very very useful it can really help to liven up your drums i put this on the kick drum but you can also use it on the snare drum and basically any percussive sounds you have uh, and maybe if you're very creative you can also use it on other sounds as well uh, but it is primarily aimed at percussive sounds and again very useful uh, you can really uh, you know, spice up your drum sounds with this plugin. So that's basically all I can tell you about Phosphat from Clef Grand. So go check it out, download the demo and see if it's something uh, that you can use. Should you be interested and you want to support the channel, I will also leave an affiliate link in the description. Uh, for now, thanks for watching and I will talk to you next time.